Hey YouTube, what's up? Uh, so I have some pretty bad news. Um, my yellow, my yellow rass actually uh, died, and uh, I'll tell you why. First of all, um, I'll explain what happened and what why this was such, so confusing to me. Uh, I saw the yellow rass. Uh, he went to bed. He, you know, he sleeps in the sand bed. So I saw him dive into the sand bed, and then for the next two days or so, I did not see him, and I was kind of getting worried. I was like, okay, what's going on here? Um, you know, I added a few NASA snails to the tank and see, you know, I was going to have to see if they were going to go towards a, you know, a dead body or something like that. And, uh, eventually he came out of the sand and actually he had a huge, uh, scar on the side of him, like burns it looked like almost. Um, and his, one of the fin, the, uh, pectoral fin on the side that was actually, uh, damaged, uh, was also damaged. The fin itself was pretty, uh, was damaged a little bit, and uh, he was really skinny, and he was just, was, you know, trying his hardest, but it was not looking too good for him, and I, you know, I tried to save him, I tried to keep him in the net overnight, like, you know, suspended in the water column, uh, you know, keep him away from the cleanup crew and stuff, and uh, he died, uh, you know, sometime that night, and uh, the sad part about this whole thing is he was a perfectly healthy fish, and, uh, you know, he's doing great, uh, ha you know, happy as can be, doing fantastic in the tank. Um, and it just happened to be that the fireworms actually, uh, I believe this is what, this is really the only thing it could have been, uh, fireworms. I've seen a couple fireworms in this tank, as well as the 24 gallon, but, you know, they haven't really ever done anything uh, bad in any of my tanks so far until that happened. Um, so, really, really not happy about that at all. Uh, it was actually, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's pretty sad because it was such a healthy fish. Uh, but yeah, everything else is doing great in the tank. The clowns, the Melnaris, um, although the Melnaris has been kind of, uh, you know, eating a few dwarf sears, and as you can see, he's picking up this turbo snake here. Again, this video is probably not going to be in nearly as good quality as usual because I'm using my iPad, um, so yeah. Also, my videos kind of wash out the color of the tank. It kind of makes the tank look kind of drab, like with a little bit of pink. It's really not like this in real life. It's actually much, much brighter. And uh, also the Mel Narthras, like, my camera can't even capture the amount of color that's actually on this guy. It's really, really awesome. Definitely my favorite fish in this tank. Um, but yeah, it's uh, everyone else is doing great. The cleaner shrimp's doing great. Also the hyphen perchlet, the fish I just added, um, I'll be posting a clip of that because um, he did come out and I got a pretty good um, little video of him swimming around right here. Um, so I'll post that um, on my next video most likely. And uh, yeah, and probably tomorrow or the next day, something like that, I'll be going out to the fish store and getting some new fish along with a couple other things. Also the uh, possum wrasse. Um, I'm really not sure when that will get uh, come back in stock, but actually on liveaquaria.com I'm, I'm on the first... I'm the first person on the waiting list, so as soon as they get those possum rats, white band possum rats back in stock, uh, they'll send me one. Um, I don't know when that might be. It's not that common of a fish, but uh, hopefully it'll come soon because I really, really like that fish. Also, um, yeah, I, I, you guys, most of you guys know the pyramid butterfly fish did die um, because of that huge parasite it had on it. When you know when it came to my house, it had that huge parasite and that huge gash on the side of it, and it did die. Um, I'm actually most likely I've kind of been thinking about it. Um, I'm thinking, I'm considering of maybe uh, trading the pyramid butterfly, because on liveaquaria.com you can actually do this, um, trade a fish that died, and then, you know, get another fish for that, for the amount that fish cost. Um, so if an $80, $80 fish dies, uh, you can replace it with maybe $80 worth of other things, other fish or whatever. Um, so I might switch it out with maybe a long fin fairy wrasse and maybe a couple smaller fish like that. Uh, one, two, maybe three if a really, really small fish. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, hope you guys are too. Also, be posting a complete review, customer review of the uh, of uh, LiveAquaria.com itself and its customer service and everything like that. Um, also, I'll be coming out with my review on the uh, on the uh, eShop thing. I'm back over Flow Box. Um, I've been meaning to come out with that, but you know, I've made like two reviews already on this on this overflow box and then right after I make the review something happens or I kind of change my opinion so I have to delete that and redo it. Um, so I just kind of want to make sure 
my opinion I form on the overflow box is completely accurate, so I can give you guys the most accurate information possible. Um, yeah. Also, uh, I'll just give you guys a quick look down the sump. I switched the LED light like that, kind of, um, just to cover the entire refugium. And uh, the Canomorph is doing awesome. The camera is doing okay. I mean, it's definitely not the best skimmer, but, um, you know, it's doing, it's doing pretty good. Uh, this whole tank's doing actually really, really well. The Tamini tank is doing fantastic. Um, eating great. Everyone's doing uh, eating really, really uh, well. Um, and yeah, and just to give you guys a heads up for the fish I might be getting tomorrow, uh, the fish I'm kind of looking, you know, uh, looking forward to maybe getting if they do have a Lobox fairy wrasse, uh, multicolored Lobox fairy wrasse. Uh, they most likely will have that. I see those usually um, at that particular fish store. Also, if they have one, um, a blue reef chromis, not a blue green chromis, but a blue reef chromis. Hopefully they'll have one, and if they do, I'll be picking that that one up as well. It's the fairy wrasse. Uh, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, still, I'm pretty bummed out about the yellow wrasse, and uh, it's a real shame, you know, that a healthy fish died because of uh, stupid fireworms. But yeah, uh, thumbs up the video if you liked it. Please leave a comment if you have any questions at all, any comments. Um, if you have anything to say about maybe uh, the pyramid butterfly situation, maybe if you think I should add another one, or if I should replace it, or whatever you uh, have to say about that. And I'd subscribe if you haven't, but if you have, I really do appreciate it. Uh, but yeah, have a nice day. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.